Hello all! Terhi Koskinen here with my first video for Pebbles and I have really great reason to do this video. I'm doing a couple of cards but especially with this lovely metallic cream chalks which are from Pebbles and these are quite new friend for me but I really adore them. I just opened the package for the first time and I can see there's a beautiful line of different colors. You have this tool to use these little cotton balls, but as I'm kind of a lazy crafter, I really want to have quick tools, so that's why I chose to use these little tweezers to use the cotton balls. Just grabbing one and then adding some color to one and then just painting the paper with it. I'm doing a little color swatches for myself to use and one little cotton pole is enough for using two of the colors. There's three different sizes of each it for <laughs> each of the colors of these cotton balls and I think this is quite fun tool to use actually. There are lots of colors and they all look much lighter on the paper than on the package or in the package. So that's why these kind of color swatches are important to do. I also know that this will do look totally different on top of um, black paper than here on white. Now you can see all the colors and I think they are quite wonderful. Um, I'm going to use this new Jen Hatfield My Bright Life card package um, which I received and I think I'm going to do some stencil work on top of these cards. Just a little little mixed media vibe for the cards to make them look really unique and lovely. And I chose this dark card to show off how the uh, lighter, lightest colors will look with the stencil. It's a bit tricky to use with the cotton ball through the stencil, so that's why I tried with the um, regular makeup sponge, which, which was actually quite a clever thing to use through the stencil. If, um, if I would use these Without the stencil, then the cotton balls would be great because you can actually uh, add a really small area. But the bigger area, then the bigger tool is much better. So the makeup sponge or any mixed media sponge, like the Vicky Putin sponge you can see um, here in the screen, would be great. And now for the lighter, light pink card I'm going to do I'm, I'm picking up the purple it looks so good on the color swatches so it's lovely it's really lovely and this stencil which is actually just paper is from Heidi Swap and you can use the stencil in another project now that it's lovely colored and for this white and blue striped card I'm going to at this quite light blue uh, color and here you can see now all three of them with the color uh, card package you have lots of different um, epomeras and you also have these 3d foams to use at to adhere all on top of the cards and now I'm thinking how to set all these would it be better horizontally or vertically and how to use them. Um, I'm going to add a couple of these Jen Hatfield My Pride Life Epamera pieces. I really like the butterflies there and all these flowers and stuff but I think I'm going to choose something else. I would really want to use this bicycle on the uh, darkest darkest card but I'm not sure how to fit it here because I also want to have a little sentiment uh, on top of the card a little 
gift for a friend like saying thank you for being there and helping me out and just cheering up my dearest friends days so this will be the first one thanks a punch and a flower and the second one will be with a piece of um, pink cardstock and then the lovely flower but I think it will be better vertically than horizontally because the stencil work there is <laughs> is like that and the last one is a bit tricky because I'm really wanting to use in that bicycle but no it will not go there it's just I, I can't make it fit it, it if it would be just alone it would be okay but I really want to add something more so I'm going to lose that idea but I don't mind because I have something else <laughs> something else for the bicycle it will be used on a different project but I'm adding this thinking of you and then a bunch of flowers and that's it but before I'm going to adhere these lovely little pieces of papers I'm going to make sure that there is a bit of texture on each card and that's why I'm choosing to use a little little thread cotton thread just a tiny really regular thread that you all have in your home probably and I'm just taking a little knot and adding it really loosely to the tag but when I'm doing that I can see it will be covered by the flower so that's why I'm going to add a little more to make sure that it is visible and then I'm going to add this little flower thing on top and that's it kind of easy and I think it's quite cute and now that I have them all here I want to make sure that they all have this little art wipe <laughs> wipe um, on each card so I'm adding just a little drops of white paint or white mist on top of each and that's it I hope you are really inspired and I really hope you will um, use the chalks one day because they are really something easy and clean to use um, and you can do so much more with them this is just one way to use them with the stencil but you can do so much more like the whole background for the layout or anything else so thank you for watching and i hope we will see you again soon bye